All right, I'm ready, are you? Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is the Furniture Flipping Channel. We are so excited about this new adventure. My name is Allison, if you are new to our channel, and I have started flipping furniture. Any uh, profit that I make is going towards one, building a swimming pool for my children, and two, home improvements that need to be done around our house. So let me tell you about the first piece that we're going to do. This piece has been in my family since the 1960s. I remember this piece of furniture being in my house when I was growing up. So we're going to start with this piece and I cannot wait. I am so excited. Now I am going to take the camera and I'm going to show you a better view of the whole piece of furniture. Here it is. You see it has three sides. It's got some really, really beautiful detail. Now, the first thing that I would normally do is take off the hardware, but guess what? The hardware's already fallen off, so I have to be very creative in trying to get that opened. So there's one door that opens and there's a shelf inside. All right, here it is with the door opened. And it does need a little bit of cleaning inside, but it's still in really good condition. This was made out of maple. And there are some spots on here that I'm definitely going to have to get out. All right, I'm ready, are you? Let's get started. Before we get started though, I better tell you one more thing. I do have three children, and in order for me to redo furniture and to flip furniture, I call it creative flipping. Why? Because I have to do this in between the activities of my girls and in between the things that they need. Normally, when you use chalk paint, which is what I'm going to be using today, I'm going to be using a gray chalk paint you would not have to sand at all, okay? You wouldn't have to worry about this veneer on top. You wouldn't have to worry about anything. But like I said, there are some spots that really need to be buffed out. And so what I'm gonna do is hopefully just sanding them will work. And I'm using 120 grit sandpaper, so it's the fine sandpaper that we're using. Because I don't want this to go deep. dry 
overnight and then we'll sand it down and we'll be ready to start with our first coat of paint. Good morning. It is very early this morning and I am the only one up. Well, the dogs. And so I decided it was time to come on down, go ahead, get this sanded and get it cleaned off so we can get our first coat of paint on. So I have my fine sanding block and we're just gonna sand off these little spots. Now that we have sanded and we have done the wood filler and then we sanded that off, now we have to clean it. So I got Mean Green Super Strength Cleaner and Degreaser. You always want something that has a degreaser in it because you don't know what all has gotten on this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is clean it. And I'm gonna use a soft microfiber towel to clean. Okay, now that I've done that, I want to wipe it down with some water just to get all of that chemical off before I paint. So I found a microfiber sponge. So I'm gonna wipe it down with the water. Now that I have done that and it is dry, I'm ready to start with my first coat of paint. Now, what I decided to use was chalk paint in the Anvil Gray. Now it's Krylon chalk paint. So with your first coat of paint, you want it to go on kind of thin and expect to have brush marks. That is okay, we will take care of that before we put the second coat of paint on. Now this is a dark gray. So here we go with our first coat of paint. Now this is not covering like I thought it would. I wonder, since it's dark, if I should have used a primer. We'll see. If it's a fail and it doesn't cover, well then I've learned a lesson and we'll go back and we'll sand it again and put a primer on it. If you all have ever painted with chalk paint, please leave a comment below. Give me some tips. Tell me how it turned out for you and some things that you learned in doing it. So now you can see the first coat of paint, how it's not covering as well as I wanted it to. I can still, still see those spots. So we'll see what happens as we paint the rest of it. All right, for the edges and the hard to reach places, I'm gonna use a smaller brush. It's just a little craft brush that I got from Lowe's. We'll see how it works. I love the detail on this piece. And I think when we get finished with what I, the way that I want to do it, it's gonna look really good, fingers crossed. I'm not worrying about this part right here because I'm gonna go back over it with my regular brush 
I just want to kind of make sure I get the paint in the little crevices. Okay, so that's how it's going to look with the first coat of paint. Well, this was definitely a furniture fail. I am completely changing directions with what I was doing. One, I'm not happy with the dark color of this. I wanted it to be a little bit lighter. So I am going to do a light gray at first. I have to prime it. I have definitely learned my lesson here that even though it says that um, chalk paint can go on and adhere to any surface, that when we have a wood this dark, and especially the detailing like is right here, then you definitely need to prime it first. So, I have already sanded the top and I am about to sand this part. You've got to sand it down before you put the primer on. Now, the good thing about primer is we know it covers anything. So even though there's some gray on there, we know the primer is going to cover it. All right, here we go. Oh, <laughs> I have the door. We are ready to put on the first coat. Remember I decided this time we're gonna try the light, the lighter gray. This is called Misty Gray and it is Krylon chalk paint. So I'm excited to try this. I can tell you already, one, this is going on much easier, much better. The coverage is better with the primer. I'm not seeing any of the wood coming through, which is making me very, very happy. I'm so excited. I, I don't know what to do. Look, doesn't this look so much better? Yes! Yes, yes, yes! and then I will come back and we will work on starting in the second coat. And I love it. I love it. All right, I felt like we needed a little change of scenery today. So I wanted to wrap up our video and kind of recap what happened and what I've learned. So first of all, this was my first time to use chalk paint. And I've painted lots of stuff before, but never with chalk paint. One thing is I discovered, or I felt like the lighter gray went on better and covered better than the dark gray. Now, granted, I did use the dark gray just over the wood, but I tried it over the primer too just to see which one I liked better. And I definitely like the light gray better. If you're painting darker wood, even though it says you don't have to prime it, my, what I learned is I needed to prime it so that the wood didn't bleed through because that's not the look that I wanted. So once I got the primer on there, then the first coat 
of the chalk paint went on great and we didn't have any problems from there. So now we're ready for a second coat of chalk paint. In the end, we're gonna see, am I gonna do a dark gray wash over it or am I going to glaze over it? And I'm gonna decide that before the next video. Um, I decided this was needed to be part one and part two. Part one is the furniture fail, then success on the second try. And the next video is gonna be the completion of this project. And hopefully I'll have it done and completed it up on uh, Facebook Marketplace before I upload the next video so we can have that part included also. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you for going on this adventure with me and I can't wait to see how the furniture flipping does and I can't wait to possibly get to build my girls a swimming pool. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you know when I've uploaded a new video. Comment below if you've ever used chalk paint before and let me know what your experience was with that. And if you have any tips, please pass them along because like I said, this is a first for me. I was excited to start using it. It was a definitely a learning lesson and I'll be ready to do it the next time. All right, thank you so much for watching. Bye. All right, I'm using my fine. I'm using my fine. Okay, I'm sorry. I can't do this.